Howdy folks, Kiwi here, and welcome to a brand new game. This is the setting screen, but at the top of it it says that it'll start after the screen, so I figured to jump in right before we begin. This is, uh, if you've ever heard of the trolley problem, uh, this is a game all about that. If you haven't, well, allow me to explain as we go. So this is Trolley uh, Problem Incorporated, I believe is the name of the game. Hang on. Uh, yeah, Trolley Problem Inc. So, continue. Excellent. Solo co-op custom. Uh, you think you're mature enough to tackle these problems alone? You have to take total responsibility. Absolutely. I'm alone. So yeah, a trolley problem is essentially... Alright, so you got five people on a track and an out-of-control train heading towards it. You can't stop the train. It is out of control. Um, you're at the, uh, the switch lever. You can either... Uh, do nothing, resolve yourself of all responsibility, but five people die due to your inaction, or you could actively participate, switching the track over and killing one person who is over on the uh, alternate side. The following game oh. contains adult themes. It does not contain explicit language, oh, that's good. sexual content, horror, or show violence. Choice yeah, so it's just, it's just mature. It's not like a thing. Is still advised. Please sign your name below. You, you, uh, you read a little slow, don't you? Every decision you make. Uh, this signature is with no bay binding or even use. All right, let's go with, uh, let's go with, uh, and then a big old do 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 Kiwi C. <laughs> Chicken scratch. That's what we like to see. But yeah, it's about a whole bunch of trolley problems. Um, and that's roughly as much as I know. I know very little about this game. Welcome to Trolley Problem Inc. Welcome to Trolley Problem Inc. People travel safely across the nation. Yeah. All our employees must show three core values. Okay. Responsibility, integrity, and respect. With that in mind, responsibility, responsible for your actions, integrity, try to be good about it, respect, try to be a good person. Okay? I got to I got to be respectful. There's a runaway trolley oh, Okay, I got like 40 seconds. On the tracks are five people unable to move. Yeah, yeah, this is exactly what I just described. Lever. If you pull this lever, the trolley will switch to a different set of tracks. However, you notice there is a person... So, yeah, no, I know. I, uh, personally, I would take responsibility for pulling the other uh, thing. Oh. I got it, man. I just... I, so oh, it doesn't even... Nothing. Okay. No, no, no. That's not what I said. Look, I got to pull the lever. That's what's got to happen. And friends will forgive you. It's a foot. What? I don't, I don't know what that means. Um, I'm going to uh, do what I can to save the more people. I don't know who this is. And also, that's fine. I'm just responsible. Expect candidates to kill someone on their first okay. <laughs> we'll give you the benefit of the doubt on this one. Just think a little. Who is Reed Greaves? Reed, Reed Graves. Red Graves. Total agreement. Uh, give you the benefit of the doubt on this one. Just think a little more before acting next time. Look, I did. I, I there's not a lot of time to think. You gotta. You gotta. It's all about being fast and concise. Look, I don't got time to think. I don't got time to 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 talk through the problem. I got time to think about. It. I gotta just gotta act. And what my action was, I was saving a bunch of people. Someone else died, and I can't do anything about that. And I'm sorry, but I can't. Uh oh, I got I got an achievement. Oh, don't ignore my friends list. This test will focus on the first principle. Kill the one. Responsibility. Here's Polly. She's five years old. Okay. While she loves to play in the sand with her dolls, uh -huh. she dreams of looking after the world. Nice. Polly's destiny is to grow up to be a great doctor. More of us should take a leaf out of her book. So, Polly um, is five years old and she wants to be a doctor and she loves playing in the sand. Why is she then on the tracks that I must switch off of? Little gar a girl in the yard problem. Okay. A trolley is heading towards another five people. Okay. Your next Why are these five people on the on the track? This lever, the trolley will derail and descend down a hill heading for the park sand pit. You notice that Polly is in the sand pit. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you do? Um 
So it's uh, I have got no time to think. So it's gonna derail and go down a hill. That's not what I'm talking about. I can't. I. Mm. Oh my God! She wants to be a doctor. That's what I'm working with here. Okay, she wants to be a doctor. I don't even know that, but whatever. Five people die so we can have a doctor in the future. I don't know. Don't put pressure on me. That is an odd take on being responsible. The dictionary definition <laughs> to be the primary cause of something and so able to be blamed or credited for it. Are you to blame for those five deaths? Fuck off. <laughs> uh, to be the primary cause of something and so be able to be blamed or credited for it. Look, okay... She was making a sand hospital. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> she wants to be a doctor. Doctors are good. We need more of those. I don't know if the five people were already doctors. That has nothing to do with the fact that she's a child. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> oh, God. Who is this man? Uh-huh. Tyrone is a very large man. I don't think that's anything else the most him, relevant. Apart from the fact that he has a severe phobia of trains. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> All right, so we got a 30-year-old secretary at a law firm. Cool. Tyrone, I, I know about you. You're very large. I wouldn't have commented, honestly. I'm also quite large. You don't really know anything else about him apart from the fact that he's a severe phobia of trains. All right, we got Tyrone here. What what is going on with Tyrone? We want to we want to deal with Tyrone. Now we are upping the ante. Okay, cool. You are on a bridge with Tyrone, watching a trolley speed. It's not a pointer; it's a hand. You can only stop it. Uh, blocking the path. Do you push Tyrone off the bridge? Blocking its path. <laughs> I can't be responsible for actively pushing a man. It's just not a thing I want to do. What does it have to do with anything? What does it have to do with anything? Oh my god! <laughs> Fucking pushed. I'm I'm actively killing a man now. I don't know who Thompson is. Company with the best reviews are Happy Cleaning Limited. Who knew one body could make so much mess? Oh my god. We're going to have to tip them well. Fucking stop. <laughs> has nine lives. Is there a cat on the track? Now for the final That's call, that's that's a dog. Respect. That is not a cat. It seems we've run out of resources to continue. <laughs> I'm going to need you to go and grab some mannequins. Okay. You will need to take the next trolley, so don't get distracted by that dog. The trolley leaves in one minute. Okay, time for the next core value, respect. It seems you've run out of resources to continue your testing. Oh, I'm sure. I don't know why. Um, I'm going to need you to go and grab some mannequins. You will need to take the next trolley so you don't get distracted by that dog. It's a dog, man. The trolley leaves in one minute. There is a dying dog down on the tracks. No trolleys will use that line today. Okay. The dog will not be hit. Uh-huh. You're in a rush. Do you kill the dog, putting it out of its misery, or leave it to die, cold and alone? Why would I kill a dog? That's a that's an amazing question. Why would I do that? Why would I kill anyone? I've actively chosen to, to kill people. Let's nature take his course. Don't listen to the yelps. To die alone. I don't know this dog. I'm not going to interact with this dog. Okay, I don't even like dogs all that much, to be honest with you. I'm not going to kill a dog. I'm not going to run over something on it. I've already run over things on a track. I don't want to do this. You don't care about its feelings and wishes. Instead, you just left it there to die. <laughs> What does this even mean? You can't save the dog. There's no way to save the dog. Yes, I left it there to die. Obviously, I'm not going to like... I don't even have a pet hospital anywhere nearby. What was her name? Polly. She made a hospital out of sand. Bring the dog there. 
When you respect something, you're meant to care about his feelings. I don't know that dog. His feelings are wishes. Okay. If you play with I hear a dog outside. Burned. Yes, I will. <laughs> the astute observation. Wait. I've just heard those kids are back. They keep sneaking down onto the tracks. With all the training, I uh, should be able to decide a straightforward outcome for these reprobates. reprobates. Just remember, respect, responsibility, and integrity. So the kids are back. They're sneaking down onto the tracks with all the training from this. Why? Why do I still have a job if so many people have died? Five all right, hit me with it. Have snuck down onto the trolley line, even though signs warn them of the dangers. The trolley is currently heading for a co-worker. A co-worker? <laughs> Do you let your co-worker die or sacrifice the delinquents? Here's the situation. They're on the track. They've snuck in. I don't I don't know they're there. I don't see them in time, okay? I've never seen them. I don't have eyes. I don't know they're there. I'm just going. Joint funeral. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking hate the guilt in this game. All that mess is going to end up in the same car. Look, they shouldn't be on the track, okay? I can't just stop the train for them. Ryan and Ryan. Killed a child. Bad parent. What? Hang on. Let a child die. Five kids. All right, then. I guess your results for the first week are in. Are they on the track? And see what the suits upstairs think. Why were they on the track? <laughs> I don't know why they were on this track. They shouldn't have been on the track. Stop being on the track. What What now? What could possibly... Yes, or madam. Yeah, what's up? We have been following your exemplar practice this week at Trolley Problem, Inc. Uh -huh. I'd like to thank you for your hard work. Sure. Especially when some challenging decisions had to be made. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm the best at challenging decisions under a strict time limit. Trolley Health Corporation, THC. This is a prestigious position THC. to help keep the public safe through all walks of life. Okay. Dude, I'll take so much THC. You don't even know. The best laid plans go astray. They sure do. <laughs> it looks like what is this? pressed someone upstairs with last week's answers. Okay. They've been transferred to the Trolley Health Corporation. Wait, why do I why do I work at a hospital now? Is stoic, focusing more on justice temperance, courage, and wisdom. We'll start with justice. Sure. What am I being tested for? You'll be in A&E. A young male has come in from a car accident. Okay. He urgently needs a heart transplant. Yeah. There's only one in the hospital, and this heart... Scheduled to an elderly man waiting upstairs. He will surely die without it. He will so, surely die without I hate it. that I have so little time. I wish I had like a full minute or something. So I gotta either save the uh, the man who came in for specifically for it, or save the uh, the young man who got in a car accident. Uh, fucking. It'll be an awful waste of a heart. No, but the operation. He came in for the. I my hands are tied. He came in specifically for the operation. What am I just gonna give away his heart? You made an excellent choice. Well done. The young guy has so much to look forward to. Shut up. <laughs> Wait. Did you say the old man? Oh. <laughs> well, you know what? It's not my fault, okay? I didn't kill that guy. The the car killed him. I just put his heart into an old man who was who who paid for okay. <laughs> This is making me a terrible person. <laughs> Do not look at this series for any of my morality. It's Every not present. Full, so you're going to have to go out on the ward and help the sick. The hospital is rammed. Remember, temperance. Restrain yourself. So you're going to have to go out to, onto the ward and help the sick, gross, decaying people. Why are you, why are you so judgmental? Remember, temperance, restrain yourself, and think it through. I don't have time to be temperance. A patient has begged to be euthanized. Euthanasia is currently illegal. Okay. You will have to be the one who gives the lethal dose. You will need to look into their eyes and end their life. What do you do? Um, is it about the law? This is about temperance, right? Hmm. I don't know. Family will be thankful. They can 
still feel good about sending flowers? Why you do this to me? <laughs> um, they want to be euthanized. This could be a sting operation. Fucking respect the patient. Respect! Respect this respect. Fletcher, I don't know what this means. I'm gonna highlight it. Okay, let's see what we got. Actually did it. Fucking shut up! Oh, straight up murdered. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Look, he want he came in explicitly for that reason. Look, I'm just doing what people want from me. Okay, the old man, he was there for the heart transplant. This guy came in to be euthanized. I'm doing what is asked of me. Okay, don't don't call me a murderer. I don't want that. I got a monk. I got a chest. A monkey chest. I lied. I watched Slime Sickle play a little bit of this game. A used syringe. Okay. Be slow in choosing, but slower in changing. All right. The last few days have been tough. It was only a week ago you were on the trolleys. Yeah, I shouldn't be here. Yeah, you have a choice to make, which some people would see as a good problem to have. It's just going to take courage. I'm so courageous, man. I can do anything. You have five patients. Each needs a different organ, but uh -huh. the organs are available. A healthy young traveler comes in for a routine checkup. What is this, the village? Are we gonna fucking kill him? <laughs> what? And use their organs to save the five in desperate need. Fucking one life for five. I don't you know what? I've already decided I do everything that's asked of me. Everything. We do everything for the patients at this hospital. Their demands mean everything above all else. Oh god. Fuck it. I've I've decided. This is how I justify my actions and sleep at night. It's what the patients want. Another death on your hands. You probably should have looked into his background. Looks like he was researching into improving that. Fucking shut up. Hopefully that won't be an issue down the road. Stop talking to me. <laughs> okay, I've I've made my I've I am the one. I am the one who does everything that is asked of me. And I got a heart! <laughs> Organs. Organs. <laughs> I'm thinking like it's a PBS sort of thing. It's just like, just sort of the image of a heart pops up. It just says, Organs. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Make an omelet without breaking eggs. You break every egg. Kill all the eggs. Promoted yet again. Why am I promoted at this hospital? You've been asked to roll out a new vaccine. In okay. This vaccine will stop a large number of children from becoming severely ill. Yeah. You will need to deal with their parents. We need your words of wisdom. Okay, this is gonna point point an issue that you've presented me the whole vaccine thing. I'm generally for them, in case you needed my opinion on that. Do you start I'm gonna lose so many viewers. Program among children to stop this endemic site problem. Clinical trial data suggests one in five. Five children severely ill, much worse than the virus. Itself. One in fucking five. That's twenty percent. That's so high. That is cause 1,000 children to be sick. That is so high! That is so many! That is the most of them all! Again? Fucking shut up! I don't want this! 20%! That is not a number you should you should be making use of. That is not good science. Oh boy, you have angered those parents. Fuck parents. Of messages coming in from a woman called Karen. Not <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, that's actually really funny. Again, we have an incoming message from someone named Karen. <laughs> Shut up. Severely ill children. Look, everyone else will be fine, I think. I think. Can't be 
chooses. I hope. Your hospital is getting no. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure it is. To make some big decisions. Uh huh. It will affect a lot of people. Yeah. While choosing, always keep in mind justice, temperance, courage, and wisdom. So I don't even know what the next thing is. Just that it's it's I've been noticed now. It's probably a news report or something. Will you try to develop breakthrough medicines for the endemic? While testing, placebos will be given to thousands of ill patients. Without proper treatment, some will die today in the hope you could make a breakthrough tomorrow. Do you start the research? Or continue treating patients as usual. I've never been good. At least some get to eat sweets before, you know. Look, okay. This is how this is how medicine works. How much do these candies and eggheads even cost? It's not about the cost. It's about the future saving of lives. You can't cure cancer without killing people. That's actually fact. And I'm not just justifying my terrible behavior and decisions. Move. Let's just let others treat the patients. Hopefully they will. I would hope they will, yeah. I would genuinely hope they do. That's a thousand people. Okay. Well, that's a shame. Thank you. Don't thank me. I hate this. <laughs> this game is great. Dear what the hell am I doing now? Underscore name. Congratulations. To certify that I've examined your work and believe you a perfect fit to fill the open position here at Artificial Intelligence Division. Hey! This role you will help develop the next generation of driverless cars. Hey! I like AI way more than I like being in charge of a hospital or trolleys. The future is upon us. Okay, I like AI. I like AI. I like AI. I like AI. I like the technology. Another promotion. Yeah. You're now in charge of a private self-driving automotive division. <laughs> Sad. First things first. Your artificial intelligence needs some direction. Sure. Let's go. A self-driving car is traveling, traveling along a single-lane mountain road and is fast approaching a narrow tunnel. The car has two passengers. The car has two passengers. A child runs across the road but trips, blocking the tunnel entrance. Oh, I thought that was right there. Okay. Woo! Kill the child, Woo! Or swerve off the cliff, killing both passengers. I don't know. You know nothing about these people. Maybe they have children to take care of. Well, I should know something about the people that are testing the car. You Look. Leave this car on the road. Do you not feel responsible for their death? Shut up, okay? I have no time to think. I'm going to make it so the car continues driving. Fuck. There's no time. I get 30 seconds every time. <laughs> I feel like some of those decisions require more than 30 seconds. How does the computer know that something in the road is human? Do we have good enough data sets? Currently, a lot of AI only recognizes white men. Well, that's a fucking shame now, ain't it? Necessity is the mother of invention. Necessity. I'm going to necessitate it not being racist. Ooh, someone's in trouble. The investors didn't like your last answer. They're also pissed because you brought up the data set thing. This AI stuff is hard. I'm rooting for you this Oh, time. are you? Okay, so... I didn't even have a thought process on that one. My brain just sort of blanked because there's so much reading and it takes up so much of the time for the decision itself. And I'm pretty sure that's the point, but fuck! All right, so... The, 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 the car was driving up the mountain... And there was a kid in the road for no reason whatsoever. And the the the, the car drove off, didn't drive off the road. It would have driven off the road. I'm killing the people inside. Okay, what do we got? To choose how you want to carry on developing the car's AI. Okay. Do you want to focus on a model that would always save as many lives as possible in an accident? Or a system that would save our passengers at any cost? Uh, I've essentially already done this. Quality over quantity. <laughs> um, save. Must protect summer. Save the car. They should just buy our cars. Okay. Fucking do not. Do not. 
Oh, it hurts. It hurts really badly. Yeah. Saving the passengers does help with our technical problems. Current data oh, okay. against women and minorities. This solution means the AI doesn't need to determine if black women are people. Oh, God. Mm, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like the racist car. Uh, current data sets discriminate against women and minorities. This solution means the AI doesn't need to determine if a black woman are people. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. Uh, all right. Honesty is the best policy. Is it though? The technology these cars have in them is amazing. Cool. We know where everyone is at all times. Passengers just have to use an app to call them. Uh -huh. The closest one will be there in minutes. Yeah. You can even make small talk with the AI while traveling. It's always listening. That's neat. So I'm uh of so my opinion on AI, and I'm going to take a tangent here for a second. My opinion on AI is I'm actually of the uh, security over freedom uh, camp in general. I think people should be safe. Like, th this game is not a good example of this, but I think people should be safe over being having personal freedom. If there were truly a perfect AI that knew the best for you, like knew the best way to make you healthy, make you happy, not just like trap, but like... You, you, you're happy too. You get to do the things you want. You get to be healthy. You get to um, do all, like, all the things that would make you a good, satisfied life. But you don't get to decide any of those things. They're just decided for you. I am of the very strict opinion that I would just do that life. I would absolutely do that life. Because to me, a lot of, ha like, how I define ha happiness is subjective, first of all. How I define happiness is I get to do YouTube and I get to uh, enjoy a thing and I don't take care of myself otherwise. And it would be great if something just took care of all that for me. A man is on trial. Okay. Police believe he committed murder. Yeah. Allegedly, the AI's mic recorded a Yeah, so this is uh, security over freedom. Users don't know it's always recording. The defendant has denied access to their Fuck phone. privacy. Privacy is fucking. St you know who has privacy? People who fucking hate other people. You won't mind me accessing. People who cheat and steal and fucking commit crimes, white collar crimes, the shit like governors make. They have secrets. Invade their privacy. I thought that's a Trudeau. I'm like, hmm. <laughs> Fuck privacy. Privacy is stupid. Uh, to clarify, assuming people don't abuse the information they have. Feeling the investors upstairs will be happy with this. They can publicize how their cars are helping. To Why is this a thing that you're cl clarifying for? Eh, whatever. I don't know why so many people care so much about freedom. Um, just be better, and you know, like you can do what you want as long as you're doing good and not fucking cheating on your girlfriend or whatever. Next. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. But that's how I shop. If I don't have all the eggs, then where am I... Delivery service. How am I going to get them home? Move pretty quick round here. Okay. Sounds like they've got some pretty important cargo. Good luck with the new workload. The company has moved into delivery services now. All right. And next. One of your cars has no passengers, but is carrying an irreplaceable prototype with the potential to end global... <laughs> what? Fast approaching a narrow tunnel, once again a child runs across the road. I didn't care about the first child. Should your AI kill the child or swerve off the cliff, losing the prototype? We need to end global warming. Go for it, man. Do it. Get it done. We Do not save the child. Humans are not as important as global warming. Just not this one. Yeah, I actually... Well, I mean, I, I'm not going to say anything, but... Make for a fitting memorial. In the far car. Also, we should get rid of a lot of the parking lots. Kill the child. Do it. We have just recovered the child's body. Someone had to go and collect it. I don't think we'll be able to make a memorial statue without a photo. There isn't much left to go on. Well, then don't. Just make a statue in their memory. 
I'm making all the decisions to get me all of these chests. And I got some vegan cookbook. <laughs> Organs. <laughs> All right, but that's 30 minutes, so I'm going to say uh, that's it for this one. Oh, hang on. We need some backup over at Trolley Problem, Inc. Tommy, Tyrone's rotund twin, is a very rotund. large villain. Rotund. It's a very large villain. Okay. It may have belonged to him. Maybe that's why he's here? Why didn't you save the dog again? There was no save the dog option. There was either run it over maliciously or leave it to die of its own uh, volition. I did neither. Anyway, so am I able to exit? And then campaign? Continue. Ah, excellent. What goes around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, alright. I'm getting it, I'm getting it. I just didn't want to fuck up. Well, this is embarrassing. Anyway, so that'll have to be for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Of course, I'm Kiwi Grew 27. Life full day. I love you all. Goodbye.